What's up you guys, today I'm going to show you how to do sky replacement in Final Cut Pro. Two easy ways to do it in just a few minutes, coming right up. Alright guys, we're back in my studio and we are going to get this all edited together. I'm going to show you the two different ways, one using masks and another using keying. We're going to start off with using masks. All right, so we've got the footage imported now. With this shot, it's super boring. So the first thing that you want to do is in the bottom right, click on effects and then go ahead and click on masks and then we're going to choose draw mask. So you're just going to click and drop that right onto the clip. We're going to use different little points uh, to select where we want to put the mask. So I'm going to draw the first one right there. And then I'm just going to follow the top of the building. And then need to zoom out a little bit so that I can actually see all the edges of it. And then you can, for your final point, double click and that'll close the mask. So now we've got the sky masked off and what you need to do is back in the inspector where it says invert mask, there's a little checkbox, click that. So now that part of the sky is masked out and we can put the image in. So I'm gonna go over to my images and pull in one that I found earlier that I like. And you can just get on Google and find any cool, you know, cloudy sky or whatever it is you want to put in the background. I'm going to click on transform and hold down shift so that it keeps the aspect ratio of the sky until it fills the entire thing so there's no weird spaces or anything like that and then just click done. So already this is looking way more epic of a shot. One final adjustment that I like to do is click back on the main um, clip and then go to the draw mask area and where it says fill opacity it's at 100%. I like to turn that down just a little bit. I'm gonna turn it down to maybe somewhere around 85%. That way it uh, looks a little bit more natural to the atmosphere, the environment. Um, it doesn't make it as saturated. All right guys, so that was super easy, masking out the sky and putting in one that we really think is cool. So now I'm gonna show you way number two, which is using the keyer to mask out the sky. So let's jump right into Final Cut and do that now. So we're gonna start the same way with the clip already imported into Final Cut on the timeline. And let's go over to our effects tab, which I already have open, and then look in the column for keying. So I'm gonna click on that, and then you're gonna click on keyer. What you wanna do is drag and drop that right onto your image. And boom, look at that, it's already trying to take out the sky as soon as we do that. But what I need to do is kind of refine that. As you can see, there's some weird banding in the sky where the sky gets brighter and more white. So uh, in the inspector on the right, where it says Kier, I'm gonna click on sample color, and then you get this little crosshairs, and I'm gonna draw a square over the sky so it selects all that blue area. That's the color that I wanna select. So as you can see now, there's this nice, perfect, fine edge right across the top of the building. So you don't have to make all those little key points, you know, those little anchor points like we did with the masking makes it so much easier. What you wanna do is go over to your library and again, drag the image that you want to be the sky instead underneath the video clip. Then what I'm gonna do is again, transform this so you hold down command and then you can expand it to be big enough to fill the whole area. And so boom, look at that. It's already looking really good. And that was super fast. Now, the only downside of this is that because I'm wearing a blue shirt that's almost the exact same color of the sky, uh, the keyer is picking up that as well and keying that out. What you need to know is when you're using the keyer, if you have any other um, you know, object or thing in the scene that is the same color as the sky that's also going to get keyed out. So in those instances, it's just better to use a mask, although it takes a little bit more time. It's going to, you know, make everything look correct and not, not so weird. In this instance, when I'm doing this, I will just be using the mask so that it doesn't affect the color of my shirt. So now you guys know two really simple ways to do sky replacement in your videos if the sky is like a really boring blue or all white blown out sky using either masking or keying. Be sure to subscribe right now, guys. I have so many more cool editing, video, and audio stuff 
coming out for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.